In this project, you're going to build a web server with an ESP8266 to control any socket. For this project, you just need a couple of components. First, you need to get one of these remote control sockets that operate at 433 MHz. They are very cheap and you can find them easily in most supply stores. Then, you need to set each socket to a different mode. In my case, my remote is on channel 1. And my sockets are on channel 1, mode 1, and the other on channel 1, mode 3. Let's test them with their default remote control. As you can see, it works as expected when I press the on and off buttons. Now, the idea is to use an Arduino to capture the signal that the remote sends, so later we can transmit that signal with the ESP. The receiver circuit is very easy and you just need an Arduino and a 433 MHz receiver module. Follow these schematics. Connect your Arduino to your computer. Having the RC switch library installed in your Arduino IDE, open the RC switched advanced example sketch. Upload that sketch to your board. Open your serial monitor at a baud rate of 9600 and start pressing your remote control buttons. Each value for each key will appear in your serial monitor. Copy the different tri-state values of your remote buttons and save them in a notepad. You'll need them later in this project. Now it's time to build the ESP web server. You need to establish a serial communication with your ESP using an FTDI programmer in order to upload some code. Having the ESP add-on installed in your Arduino IDE, and if you don't know how to install the ESP in the Arduino IDE, simply visit the link below for all the instructions. Go to Tools and select the generic ESP board. Then change the SSID and password with your own credentials. You also need to replace the tri-state values. After modifying the sketch, click upload and wait a few seconds. Open your serial monitor at a baud rate of 115200. Connect the GPIO0 of your ESP to VCC and reset your board. After a few seconds you should see your IP address appearing in your Arduino serial monitor. Copy the IP address to a notepad. It's time for the final circuit. After completing this circuit, you can go to any browser from any device that's connected to the same router as your ESP and type that ESP IP address to access the web server. And now you can control your sockets remotely. Now you can plug any device that you want to those sockets. As always, you can find all the links and resources mentioned in this video below. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment below with your thoughts and make sure you subscribe to catch upcoming projects.